the producers are going to kill me if I tell you what to do. I pray you'll be my eyes. Watch us where we go. And help us to be wise. In times that we don't know Lead us to a place Guide us with your grace Give us faith so we'll be safe Soniham on Like it was yesterday, I was a judge on a show called The X Factor, and there was someone that walked out on stage, like in the most unbelievable outfit, and I was dying for it. And it was like heels, everything. And I remember that I fought for this guy, and his name is Sean, right? Yeah. Sean. Yeah. Yeah. It was hard growing up, it really was. I was heavily teased for my brownness, my flamboyance. As a kid, I always found a kind of escape in my music. I love to be on stage, I love to sing, I love to tell stories. It's vulnerable when you put your heart and your soul out there, but you have to be brave because this is the moment. Oh my God, we're matching with the suit. We are matching! Honey. What do you think? Pink and, pink and white, baby. Pink and white, we go together, baby. Ooh, that's right. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm just so happy to see you again, and thank you for not giving up, and well done, and you look fabulous, thank and I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love you. Firstly, I love your voice. I didn't turn around because of the outfit. I didn't turn around because of the exterior. I turned around because of what was coming mm, from the mm. interior, and I felt warmth. I felt a deep connection to music. We, we know you're stylish. We know you are super cool. How did you get so damn good at singing? <laughs> I mean, I got a Filipino mother, so we're doing karaoke yeah. every weekend. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the reason why I turned around, was I, I heard your voice. You know, I also hear a sense of, like, R&B and soul. I don't know, maybe, like, what else are you into besides... Honey, you just hit the jackpot right there. Uh, the soul and the heart is in the soul, in the blues, like, uh, with a sexy... You're just a blues, but a blues, That's but right, I... baby. Yeah. Yes. I mean, with a little reggae vibe, it's just... Ooh, that's like a rip. I love that. Yeah, that's that. exciting. So you need a guitarist, is what I asked here. Oh, oh <laughs> hey. <Just saying. laughs> I'm actually really angry because this could have been another opportunity for us to connect and really do something fantastic together. But you know what? These guys are phenomenal. They are They're phenomenal. Fabulous. Just whoever you pick, you're going to be in great hands. Who do you guys think I should pick? Sean, I just want to say one thing. Sean. Oh, you can't even pitch now. Come on, Rita. 
I mean, we're wearing the same suit. Come on. I'm standing here because I can't pick, so I can't pitch, so I'm going to stay. Hey, Sean, here. I do want to say one thing that I loved about your performance because you, you got a beautiful voice, no question about that. But it was what I felt in your voice when you sang. That's why I turned around and I was thinking about the difference between I inspiring and uh, impressing. And for me, impressing is all about you. But inspiring is about everybody else. And that's what you gave tonight. You gave inspiring. That's true. That's what you gave. Sean! Sean! Well, Sean! Hang on one second. Sean! Sean, can I just say? No shame. Rest assured that every single performance that you do from this point on, if I'm your coach, we will make it so big, so much drama, so much soul. Hey, hey I mean, if I you think that was big, we're going to throw production, we're going to throw Hang everything on. at you to make you I really said shy. it first. Sean, Sean you soul. are the drama. I you said You don't that need first. any drama around you. You bring it. You're it. <laughs> what do I do? If I do anything, the producers are going to kill me <laughs> if I tell you what to do. Look, all I can say is I respect each and every one of you. Keith, your country darling guy. Don't say me next! Don't <laughs> say me next! Can I just say, your glow up looks fab. Yes. I mean, I think you need to bring the afro back, let me tell you. Yeah. But you know what? I pick my homegrown girl, Jess! Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey, hey! Absolutely divine, and I'm, I feel really humbled to have you on my team. Two more artists competing for a coveted spot on Team Jess are both memorable four-chair turns, lawnmower man Mick and theatrical powerhouse Sean. And so the song I'm giving you today is Sweet Dreams by Eurythmics. Oh, oh, yes. oh my god, Annie Lennox. Clapping. The important thing yeah. is they have to make it their own. I'm definitely feeling a bit vulnerable, but all I have to do is just sing from the heart. Sweet dreams are made of thieves. Who am I to disagree? It's so nerve wracking watching Sean perform in that moment. I'm just not the singer Sean is. Sean's rendition hit every note pitch perfect. We're looking for love, some of them want to be used by you, cause everybody's looking for love. Oh, beautiful. No pressure, Meg. I know, right? <laughs> so I'm guitar and mic still. I didn't know you played guitar. Not just a lawnmower guy. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> For me, it's going to be a real challenge to try and bring who I am to this song because it's a little outside my normal genre. But I, I love to play and I just wanted to bring that into the song. Sweet dreams are made of these. Oh, I'm about to dare Travel world and travel seven seas. Mick, outstanding. Really had me and my heart racing. Michael has brought something so different to this song. He's made it into the most haunting ballad. Well, they couldn't be more different. I felt like I was watching an artist when I was watching both of them. How am I meant to choose between these two? It's really impossible. I can only take five through to the next round, and there's two of you in front of me. I think we both portrayed the song as honestly and as heartfelt as we can, and um, yeah, hopefully that came through. Oof. Give me a minute. I hope she makes the right decision. I hope she picks me. The person who I'm taking through to the next round is... It's both of you! Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. 
I really thought I was going to be the one to go home. Oh my god! How could you do that to us? You're a beautiful spirit, you are. You're a big you. phoenix spirit. <laughs> I can't help but think about your blind auditions. For my blind audition, I sang the iconic song, The Prayer, by Andre Bocelli and Celine Dion. Oh, no. I'm just here to sing and put myself out there, and the fact that I've received all that love is beautiful. Why was your dad crying? Father and son relationships has been very hard, and our relationship has been up and down. Yeah. Uh, it's... <sighs> but... He's in his 70s now, so it's so good to reconnect with him and to understand him. I feel stronger. I feel more empowered. Knowing that he'd struggled with his identity and his connection with his father, I related to as, you know, watching my father and my elder sister. I have a gay sister. I remember the day she, she came out to my dad. And my dad basically looked at her and said, I love you, my darling. I bawled my eyes out because it was really hard to see her needing that permission. And I feel like that's potentially what, you know, you have with your dad. Sean had been looking for permission when in fact he only needed his own permission to be where he is today. So the song I've chosen for you. Give it to me. Is lonely ah, by, Justin by Justin Bieber. Bieber. <laughs> oh my God! I love this song. This song definitely makes me tap into the negative part of the things that I feel about myself, of what other people say about me. What if you had it all, but nobody? The song is actually simple and beautiful, but to really go in here, it's, it's hard. This is like one of those exposing songs, isn't it? It's, you can't help be your most vulnerable, and there's that sense of fear, but I think you need to really use that. <sighs> Sean is a fabulous performer, but there are things that he definitely has to work on. All those little broken bits is going to be really important when you sing these lyrics. Just, oh, make us crumble. Yes. Everybody knows my name now. Something about it still feels strange. Like looking in a mirror, trying to steady yourself and see somebody else. Everything is not the same now Feels like all our lives have changed Maybe when I'm older now It'll all come down But it's killing me now But if you had it all And nobody to call Maybe then you know me I'm so Nobody to call, and maybe 
Was that song choice a surprise? Yeah, but then when, uh, within seconds of you singing it, I went, oh, this is a great fit. It's a really good, good, Jess. I thought that was a, just a great, really good performance tonight. And I thought your voice really suited that song and you made it your own. Thank you. Thank you. It was interesting hearing Keith say it was good. Personally, I feel like there's another gear you needed to get into. I was waiting for this really rapturous moment and this, this moment of, of uninhibited um, emotion. I feel like I was wanting a little bit more desperation from you to really go, oh my gosh, I need to get out of my chair. I think that's what was missing for me. Mm. I feel like, you know, this wasn't the right song for him. I feel like I love his theatrical side. I feel like he should have shown his power, he should have shown his strength, and he should have been really who Sean Miley Moore is. I have a kind of history with Sean. He was on a show in the UK that I was on, and I watched him sort of blossom and find himself. And I just feel like I would love to just see him and, and, and see him one last time. But I don't know if that's something... I don't know if that's made it harder for you <laughs> or if that's made it yes, any easier it's for made you. it very difficult. Jess, it is time now for your very first Ooh. big decision for the night. Are you going to send Sean straight through to the semi-final, mm. send him home, or make your decision later after you've heard the rest of your team? Spending time with you, Sean, you know, on a different level, on a, on a coaching level, was extremely, I mean, it was, it was vulnerable. We know you can sing. You have an incredible voice, no doubt about that. But you had this, you know, theatrical side which kept coming through and that was my only fear. I think there were elements of that tonight, no doubt. And I guess that's what's really divided the guys tonight. Uh, for that reason, I really need more time to think about it. So, I'm gonna, ma I'm gonna wait to make my decision. Jess will make her decision at the end of the night. The artist I'm going to take to the semi-finals is... Mick. Congratulations, Mick. You are going through to the semi-final. I love you, And Team Jess, go and join Ella. We'll see you back on the stage in the semi-final. <laughs> Mick Harrington. You don't know how much it means to me. Yes. It's everything. I feel your energy, I feel your soul. Oh, my God. Sean, I just feel you're destined for great things. Like, everybody can see that, right? I just want to say so much love to the gorgeous coaches. The voice to me is what you stand for. And to me, I stand here strong in my queerness, strong in my brownness, and strong as an Australian. Yeah! Sean, everyone!